Recently in the news, there was a video of a woman being attacked by a random dude in the gym. Now, of course, if you've been paying attention to social media, there have been like a slew of memes making fun of dramatic women who act like every single dude in the gym is trying to, you know, assault them or is being a creep or is being a weirdo. You know, you got chicks recording dudes in the gym that make one glance to the left and they're like, oh, this creep is stalking me. But this chick had to deal with a real demon and she she whooped his ass. She whooped his ass. Let's see. Let's let's watch the video. It's gonna be my first time watching it, but from what I've heard, she put she put the beats on him. Tonight, it is the video you have to see to believe. A Hillsborough County man violently attacks a young woman in her apartment complex gym, but she is having none of it. And it was all caught on security camera. This chick has the most like generic voice ever, bro. Like this is she's got to be like, bro. This this world has to be a simulation. She has to have like a voice actor playing like thirty different people. Cameras. News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki is in the newsroom tonight with her incredible survival story. Trevor, Jen, the victim here thought her attacker was working out, but after fighting for her life. The woman wants to talk about her experience to encourage other women who may have been in the same situation to speak out too. As soon as he was approaching me, I pushed him. I said, bro, what the F are you doing? Michelle, I'm hey, bro, I'm going to tell y'all right now, bring a weapon to the gym. And I'm going to go into why later. Was just doing what so many people do, getting in a late night workout at an apartment complex's gym. She saw a guy standing outside and let him in, thinking he was doing the same. Next thing you know, I get up from doing my workout. And I grab my phone, and he just approaches me. And not a single word was exchanged. Though the security footage is silent, what happened next was violent. The suspect, who police say is Xavier Thomas Jones, tried to grab Alma, but she said she is not someone you want to mess with. When it was happening, I actually had no fear. Um, I am a bodybuilder, and I'm actually pretty strong. So in my mind, he was kind of equal to me. As the she just violated him. Like, if, if the fact that she managed to beat him off is not enough, of a like the fact that she managed to beat him up if that's not enough this if that's not enough like violation as it is she said I, I can take him shit i can handle him she violated that nigga. video shows she ran to the other side of the gym trying to call 911 my advice would be to never give up uh, my parents always told me in life to never give up on anything and that's one thing i always kept in my mind when i was fighting him the two ended up wrestling on the ground at the end of the video you can see him getting tired because the more fight you put, the, the more they don't they want to give up or just stop. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office arrested Thomas Jones. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like, what is off with this guy? Like, what what could you stand to gain from attacking a chick on camera? This guy's got to be drugged out. You attack a chick in the gym. There's gun. There's got to be cameras. There's going to be cameras. What's up with this guy? Jones, less than twenty four hours later, I was overwhelmed with emotion. How proud I was that this victim wasn't going to allow herself to be raped and how hard she fought and the strength she had. Sheriff Chad Cronister is glad Alma spoke up, and so is she. I was assaulted, but that's not going to stop me from living. That's not going to stop who I am. That's not going to stop what I want to do in life. That's crazy now. There's a lot of people in the gym who, you know, normally like this won't happen to most of us. Normally, most of us won't be in a gym late at night getting a workout in and get attacked by some crazy guy. But I would highly recommend that everybody carry a side weapon with you in the gym, whether it's a knife, pepper spray, whatever the case might be, because the gym is a place of social interaction, no different from anywhere else. Of course, physical altercations are a lot less likely to happen in the gym than a bar or a club. But still, you're still around a bunch of people and you never know who you're going to run into. I've had people literally, I've been working out and I've had people literally stand in front of me just staring at me waiting for me to get done with my, get, get done with my, with the machine I'm using. It's like, bro, like I'm on the machine. I'm not getting up just because you decided to walk and stand in front of me. Now, I'm not worried because I've got some shit that I'm not supposed to have in the gym, but I got to keep it on me because there's people who are incredibly entitled who think that they deserve to impede on your workout and use the machine that you're using. And a lot of people will try to punk you out of your machine. In this situation, a guy decided that he was going to, I guess, sexually assault this woman or beat her up. I don't know what was going on in his mind. But this guy is a prime example of how you can never be too careful.
You can never be too careful, especially if you're working out late at night in your apartment gym. You know, you can never assume that shit is sweet, you know, and um, it's it's an unfortunate situation. Like, I'm sure part of her probably didn't even want to let him in because it's like, you know, like she's a woman. She's by herself. She probably has clearly had no weaponry with her, no pepper spray, no nothing. She decided to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he wants to come in and get his late night work 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 out in just like me. And this guy had nothing but evil in his heart. But kudos to her for fighting back and being able to push him off. I mean, this guy, clearly crazy, clearly out of his fucking mind, decided to attack this chick. Cameras everywhere. You know, like this guy's clearly out of it mentally, like you mentally unstable. But it's a good thing that she managed to fight him off. This is a, uh, you know, we've been, people, we, we've been joking about, you know, the women who are like making up shit in the gym. Like, oh, he's, he's stalking me and he's a creep and oh my God. But shit can get real in the gym for a multitude of reasons. It can be somebody trying to sexually assault you. It can be somebody trying to punk you out of a machine. It can be somebody, it can be anything. Somebody on roid rage, somebody mad about the noise you're making, whatever the case might be. There are people in the gym who feel like it is their right to hurt you take your machine, use your equipment if they feel like you're taking too long, stop you from using your equipment if they feel like you're too loud. There are people in the gym who think that they can throw their weight around. Me personally, I'm going to tell y'all, keep something on you because it's a lot of people and the type of people who are going to try to step to you are people who probably are prepared to step to you. People who probably have something that they shouldn't have in the gym. So stay ready at all times, you know, People been clowning about the whole like, you know, these guys are creeps and they're da 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 da. But shit got real with this chick. And she put the hands on him. She put the paws on him and gave him some serious work. But, you know, it could have went a different way. You know, it's never, it's never, uh, it's, it's never, uh, you can never be too careful in my opinion. So it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. I'm out.